What's up guys, it's Leafy here. Welcome back to a brand new video. Women are genetically disposed not to be funny. I know. It's a shock. It's a shock to hear it, but I said it. And it's about damn time someone said it. You know, gone through our entire lives just believing this, 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 this lie. But here I am now with evidence and proof and I'm just mushing those two together to give you what I'm going to present now. Uh, obviously, going into this topic, I wasn't exactly sure what I was looking for, um, but I did what any normal person would, you know, in this situation. And I went into Google and I googled my research topic. And what I found, what I found has to be quite the most disturbing stuff I've ever seen. I could barely handle it, and I don't know how you, the listener, are going to be able to handle this, alright? It's insane, it's bizarre, and it's not natural. After excessive research, I've come to the conclusion that not only Amy Schumer and my classmates, but also every single other woman on earth is not funny. Evidence has been assigned to me by multiple articles and multiple theories online and just general celebrities and political figures that have broadened this, this theory. I, I read a newspaper, aka the Maple Times, lovely, lovely newspaper. And in this newspaper, they were talking about how scientists from all around the world have come together under one clause. And that is that women do not possess the gene, the very specific gene. They refer to it as the funny gene. They do not possess this gene. And that is why that they are just incapable of being funny. Another well-known figure, AKA uh, Elon Musk, you know, he, uh, he also had a lot to say about this matter. And here, you know, here I quote, Hamburger, hamburger, women are not made to be funny. Let's go back to Mars. Riveting stuff, I know. And I'm so glad that now other people can have access to this information. I thought it was just me, you know. I, I go watch Amy Schumer's newest comedy. Do horrible. All she talks about is unmentionable things. All right. And then I go to my class and I try to engage in some physical, uh, physical action with my fellow female classmates. And I keep giving them smiles, you know, with my humor. But all that I receive in the end is a frown and confusion. Personally, I've also decided to put some research and effort into this and I've started going around to several females that I know, friends, family, what, whatever have you. And my evidence has been very thorough. My research has just been groundbreaking. None of them have made me laugh. None of them are funny. Is this an epidemic in our society? This is bizarre. This is unnatural. But here we are, and we are experiencing this. I remember I would watch late on news a couple weeks ago. Late on news, I would watch a um, TV show, but it was also a documentary mixed into two, one. And in this documentary slash TV show, they would also talk about women not being funny. But back then, you know, I didn't take it as facts. They say that not only is it genes, like the women do not have the, fun, the funny gene, but women also do not have the, the vocal cords to be able to express their joke and their timings off. It's a bunch of mental issues as well that go into account with the funny. And it's an epidemic. I would, I would argue that this is worse than COVID itself. Possibly even the Black Death. Sorry not to get political, but 
that's my opinion on the matter. And that's facts and evidence based from everywhere around the world now. So when you talk to your friend who is female and you crack a joke, I suggest that you actually don't do that. Because that's just going to make them feel self-conscious, that they have the inability to do the same. I hope you take this into consideration and we just pray that one day we'll find a funny woman. <laughs>